The story of the Petersons is one surrounded in mystery. Jeff and Carrie Peterson grew up in a small town outside of Cincinnati. The rural Ohio community didn't have a lot of opportunities for work, so Jeff landed a job at the local steel mill, a profession that most men in their city had. They got married and would later give birth to a beautiful baby girl, Alexis. The family was close. Alexis would go out shopping with her mother Carrie and spend time with her father Jeff after he returned home from his shifts at the mill. When Alexis was 13, Jeff took her hunting for the first time, and at 14, she was competing in regional archery competitions. The future looked bright for the Petersons, that is, until the disappearance. It was a gloomy, fog-filled morning. The steam rolled over the countryside as Jeff and Carrie peered out of the window, waking up and starting their day. Upon entering the kitchen, Jeff noticed the front door was cracked open. He went upstairs to check on Alexis, but she was nowhere to be found. Jeff and Carrie panicked, searching high and low for any signs of Alexis. They contacted authorities, and after a lengthy investigation, detectives revealed something about their quiet town that was previously unknown to the Petersons. Their neighbor, down the long, winding country road, was none other than Gerald Fitz, a registered sex offender. An Amber Alert was put out for Alexis, and the investigation quickly shifted focus to Gerald. Police noted that his vehicle was missing from his property. There were no signs of him. After days of searching, they located his 1995 Toyota Camry, parked along a back road in a nearby forest. With no signs of Alexis for days, the Petersons thought the worst. Deep in the woods, police find a mangled and bloodied body inside of a small hunting cabin. Upon examination, it was discovered to be that of Gerald Fitz. Puzzled, investigators continued their search for Alexis, and nearly a week later, they found security camera footage of her entering a gas station by herself, paying the clerk, and walking on foot down the highway. The area was surveyed, and another small structure in the woods was found. Police kicked the door in, where they discovered Alexis in the act of mutilating the body of a bound man. The authorities had it all wrong. Alexis wasn't missing at all. She was hunting. 